All right, now moving on to the rogue class. Um, we start off with a card called Deadly Fork. It's three mana, three two death. That'll add a three two weapon to your hand, and I believe the weapon costs three mana. Yeah. Which makes the card, which makes the card bad. This yeah. card sucks. Yeah. It's... No, it seemed good when I first looked at it, and then I realized that you you don't you don't have time to play three mana to equip a three two weapon. That, that's what yeah. that's what deadly poison is. For no, yeah. not not even that. You don't have time to play a three mana three two. If, I'd say if it gave you the weapon and let you equip it immediately, then this card would be really crazy. Or if it gave you like a one mana weapon, that'd be. Or yeah, you one mana, then it would be like it, it'd be somewhat playable. balanced yeah. and decent. Yeah. But if it's three mana, it's it's nigh unplayable. You know you know what's the benefit of this card? Nizoth. No 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 no. It doesn't take that much slots in your deck. Everything's in one package. Wow. You don't have to run deadly poison. It's for that special. <laughs> <laughs> Reno Rogue deck, huh? It's not too. T I guess yeah. Reno Rogue's a bad deck, so you just you just take what you get. So yeah, this this might be good in Reno Rogue, but it's that doesn't make it a good card. Oh, I I just I think we agree on this one. This card. I don't bad. like this card. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's slow. It's slow. It's I try I tried testing it so much, but it does really really awkward to play. D do you know what the weapon is? Is it a fork? It is a fork. <laughs> it's a very very sharp fork. Damn. Sharper than in this Dude, deadly fork. But they're both yeah. three attack. Fork? What? But they're both three attack. Yeah, both three attack. Yeah, that doesn't. They're both three three yeah. twos. One has two health, one has two durability. Yeah. Initially, I thought well, this was two mana for three two because that's fiery war. Th yeah, that's, that's like yeah, standard. that's proper, right? Yeah, yeah, that's proper, right? Is it proper though? Is fiery war? No, 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 no. I, I, I don't know. I thought deadly fork itself was two mana for three two. Ah. Uh, yeah, that and, then, would and then it gives it. you a three mana three two weapon. Then I thought it was like, oh, that's okay because you're playing. Fine, yeah, you're playing the weapon on curve. You're playing the weapon on curve. But then I looked at this. I was like, why is this card three mana? It's not even on curve. Like you're not gonna play this over si seven agent or whatever yeah 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 si7 agents so much better like because yeah. yeah you, you have to spend the mana to play it the yeah three two, which is mm -hmm. the weapon which it's is just not good yeah, yeah. Not good. All right. yeah let's move moving on we have the ethereal peddler which ethereal is, peddler yeah, i don't know how to pronounce it but I, I pronounce ethereal, it. ethereal. Is it ethereal yeah ethereal peddler nice yeah learn something every day <laughs> so it's trying to play on the um the synergy of the uh, stealing yeah, theme the, the of Rogue. Effect. The Burgle effect, which yeah. is just basically just stealing random cards. Not stealing random cards from your opponent's deck, from your opponent's class, so they're just completely random. They I, stole the priest mechanic. Yeah, no, 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 no. Priest is a better stealer, did you yeah, know? Yeah, priest is a better stealer, but yeah. they, this Thought Rogue steal. lets us steal like in a really like terrible way. Yeah. Just stealing from not from their deck, but from yeah. their, like not their actual cards, but just cards. Class cards. Yeah, class cards. Class cards. And I I don't it's a five mana five six. It's a pit fighter stat line, so it's like acceptable. Now it's effect worn its play style. This reminds me of um the Warlock Athun card, which is uh the um I forgot what it's called. It's the uh Usher of Souls. Yeah that card or was something. that card was terrible and it was like a new trap for people who want to play Reno Cthune. Yeah. Yeah. But nobody plays it even in Reno Cthulhu. People tried to play it. Yeah. I, even I, I, I didn't think no, it even, was bad. No, no, because the Craze Worshipper is just so much better. In a sense. Yeah, it's, it's a taunt. It's a taunt. taunt. It's yeah, just it's so taunt. much more valuable yeah. in the yeah. constructed yeah. metagame yeah, than, exactly. than, than having two attack, exactly. more, two attack more. Two more attack is. And I don't think, again, with this thing, I don't, I don't, I don't see. It's crazier than Emperor Thorison, mm -hmm. if you think about it. Like, it if is. your yeah. entire hand is just stolen cards. But on average. If you want to build a stolen cards like or like a Burgle effect themed rogue, yeah. that deck is not going to be good because it's I, not consistent. I think it might work. Um, there's already Undercity Huckster. They're going to release that one mana one one that which we talk about. Later. Yeah, that's going to come up that we're going to see next. The sheer value of reducing two mana though it, might just it, be so good. It that, could be good. Yeah. Yeah. The stat line on this thing is is amazing, but like, who knows? I think it'll give uh, rise to some kind of tempo rogue that. Bases runs it those cards, yeah. yeah. It runs Burgle and runs Undercity Huxter, and then yeah. you one drop. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't see this card scene. Yeah. The the one drop. It's not it. terrible. Yeah, he's not. He's not terrible. He's definitely better yeah. than Deadly Fork, but I, I just. I think uh, if you run like say a Raptor Rogue, and it, it will be a strong like tempo tempo, tempo card tempo mm -hmm. deck. You Raptor Rogue the. Um, you have to run Burgle though. So right? not Raptor Rogue, Unearth Raptor. Yeah, Raptor Rogue. on the two mana two two the Huckster. Yeah. Then you have two like cards from your opponent. You need to play. You need to play like Burgle and stuff. You don't have to play Burgle. But I mean, I, I mean, if you're playing this card, right, you, you're sort of not. There's an expectation to play Burgle. I think that's yeah. a bit of a trap. You're playing, Ar you're playing Arcane. You're playing negative one mana Arcane Intellect. If you think about it. Yeah, but you can just play good. this card in terms of just stat line alone, and then you can just like naturally just play. Um, you can play one Huckster. Copy. One copy. Yeah, of one copy. Yeah, well, one copy is fine. For sure yeah, yeah. In, this, in this deck, I just don't yeah. know if like you would build like base all your synergy on off of that i don't think you would nah, nah, but one burgo is won't. definitely warranted because like yeah. i said it's like a negative yeah. one mana Th this yeah. could this could even be in a, like a reno kind of rogue deck although it's not that's optimal but who knows yeah, yeah who knows yeah 
Yeah. I, oh, love this I, I like this, I love I like this, this card. card. I like this card. It's yeah, interesting. It has a powerful effect, but the effect, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't have a place at the Yeah, because Burgle is pretty random, too. Yeah, like it's the, just a little bit too... Um, yeah, it might not the, even be worth The results it. are a little bit too polarizing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right, so moving on, we have the, uh, yeah, which is the card that we are talking about earlier. Swash Burglar. It's basically just the... Uh, uh, Under City Huckster, that's one mana. Or it's a babbling yeah. book. No, it's a babbling book. For rogues. It is battle card. I think this card is better than babbling book, though. That's the thing. Whew. Isn't like... I don't know. Whew. Actually, it is... It's, because, a uh, it's a pirate. It's a pirate. It's, it's a pirate. It's a pirate. Yeah. yeah, it's a pirate. That's why it's better. That yeah, gives it relevance, a... somewhat. Yeah. Remember yeah. that pirate card that we had? That's almost... No, pirate, ro- pirate Warrior yeah. is better than Pirate Rogue, that's the thing. Yeah. Because yeah. they don't have the Finny Man... They, they don't, don't have the Blood have the Sail... The Blood Sail Sail Cultist is just crazy. That's we the have, reason yeah. why Pirate Warrior... We have the Bible. Fork. The Fork ain't a Pirate. <laughs> the Fork is... The Fork ain't a Pirate! <laughs> hey, what if the Fork was a Pirate? Would the deck be viable? It might. It might. But it doesn't it have Blood Sail Cultist. It's just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, this just card... I like it. Well, is he playing? Rogue... Okay, Rogue switches... Uh, Rogue uh, skips their uh, one drop so often mm-hmm. that, like, in the previous expansion when they released the one... Journey Below. Yeah. The Journey Below spell. I yeah. thought that card wasn't that good. But it turns out that you're not going to do anything turn one anyways. So yeah, you, you might as well just play, play that on turn yeah, one. And, get, well and then the ability to give yourself the on curve play. Let's yeah, say you yeah. already have Under City Huckster. Yeah. You, uh, you, you pick the Under Earth Raptor. And, and, mm-hmm. or, I, I guess Under Earth Raptor doesn't have Death Rattle, but you can pick anything. And then you could either pick the, the pet, um, anything from the Huckster, and then you can go up to a Anubarak for control matchups, and you can basically just never lose against Control Warrior if you pick yeah. You yeah. pick that. Yeah. yeah. Or you can pick Sylvanas, you can pick like a good mid range minion, and it ended up being a pretty good spell. Now, is the effect of discovering a Death Rattle better than adding a random class card to your hand? Definitely. No, it's not. I mean, yeah, as in, like, this is definitely worse yeah. than, than, than discovering a random mm-hmm. Death Rattle, but the effect of the five minute ethereal pedal that we were talking about earlier might make this relevant enough to put it in that, like, archetype, the uh, Burkle archetype. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it also has that power tag. We can't forget power that. Tag. So yeah, we the just, power tag just makes you can it get really creative decent. with it. Maybe. Unfortunately, it's not that relevant. It, it yeah. might, it, it'll, it'll it, come up in some cases, basically. But I don't think people will make a build around it. It's like this when you play rogue, uh, especially when they don't run one drops. But when they do, they usually run a very sticky kind of one drop, like, like an Archid Squire, Squire, as we see in the aggressive miracle rogue kind of build. Would you run Archid Squire over this card? Yes, I, I probably would if I'm running like stuff like Cold Bloods and stuff like that. When you're talking about yeah. like creating new archetypes, yeah, like pirate or like beast, yeah. or like whatever, you yeah. need like one card that's so powerful that it carries archetype on its own. For like Hunter, it was like Call of the Wild. That that's Ooh. like single handedly saved mid range Hunter because basically the whole point of the deck, like even though the individual minions on mm-hmm. curve from one to six other than high main aren't that great, mm-hmm. you're all you're doing is just stalling the yeah, game, stalling until, the game uh, up until turn yeah. and you get to play your OP card. Mm-hmm. For I guess for Secret Paladin, all your cards are crazy and then yeah, yeah. Yeah. which is like yeah, yeah, that, that's the how you doctor, like, the PhD six. Yeah, that's how you get to remove all PhD these secrets yeah, that yeah, can yeah, actually yeah, be played. So I don't think this card like and for pirate, and the most relevant example that is like comparable to this is the is the for pirate warrior is the uh, bloodstone cultist, which yeah. is a ridiculous effect because it's a it's a it's an effect that takes an effect immediately, and if you play like it synergizes perfectly with a card that they also got that expansion which is the Nazoth's first mate and it, it actually synergizes perfectly you yeah. play that you play your uh, Blood Cell yeah. Corsair or you play your Blood Cell Raider and then you play your uh, Blood Cell Cultist get a 2-4 mm-hmm. weapon and that's pretty crazy mm-hmm. this I don't see the synergy here yeah I don't see that synergy yeah. at all I guess like there's other um, pirates that act- actually do buff up this card and this d- does allow another pirate that buffs itself. you have to run the neutral pirate yeah, so that's yeah. the thing yeah. with what, what's that 4-3 pirate called again? the 4-3 pirate it's the oh, oh the Shady Dealer yeah, yeah. the Shady Dealer yeah, yeah it gets buffed with your that's the thing is it's just not yeah. impactful enough. Yeah, it's not four, impactful. Yeah, it doesn't stick on the board long enough, but this is one of the only enablers for that card. And four damage yeah. is like relatively It's a 5/4. It's a 5/4 after for three yeah, mana. Yeah, yeah, four yeah. damage is yeah. relatively easy to do in this meta. Like yeah. a lot of people are running stuff like Shadow Bolt. Yeah. Just to deal with like I I back it with the uh uh the old expansion, four damage was like basically everywhere, but like True Silver and stuff like that. But, uh, and Death Spite. And oh, Death, man. Death Spite was like the biggest defender, which which was why Tomb Pillager wasn't that great. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, but specifically, the, I, don't, I don't know, the three mana pirate is not that good. And it's also not a pirate in itself, which makes it so that. Yeah, that, that, that yeah. kind of just makes it not so good. I definitely don't think a pirate rogue is going to take place. But, no, but yeah. Yeah. something like a, like a Burgle kind of rogue, maybe. You, you know what they want to encourage? They want to encourage pirate stealing cards. Mm. With Burgle. I love the flavor. Yeah, you like it, right? Yep. Yeah. Maybe if they release like one or two more. So yeah, yeah, probably. It's not moment, ready yet. I feel like it's not ready yet. Yeah. I feel like this could, this might see a little bit of play. And yeah. if it works. For the same reason as Journey Below, just because they often skip their one drop, might as well just put something like this in your deck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs>